Hey guys, this is Sally's my goat, and I'm gonna make an update vi an update video. I'm playing here, sleep on my bed, or not my bed, but sleeping with my cat. Cause he's just oh dear, the kitty. Um, so just a few updates. I haven't been making videos in a while. It's mainly because I've been so busy with my goats, and cause my main goat Sally is gonna have babies in a few days. So, yeah. Next is a little bit of the Um, yeah, model horse wise, I haven't really done anything with my models yet. I got a new shelf, which I'll actually go show you guys. Oh, I you. You big deal. Yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna show you guys my new bookshelf that I got a couple of days ago. I haven't been able to put it in my room yet. And then after I put it in my room, I'll make an update collection to her. For some reason, there's a box on it. I think it's dealing with my dad. Oh well. Yeah. Just these didn't come with it. These are actually my books, and I don't know what this is. But it's got little pegs here. Here's a uh, one of the shelves I can show you. So these are what the shelves look like. They're just white. It's just a white, plain white shelf, or bookshelf, too. And all you do, you set it, do this with one hand, yeah, we're going to move that. Okay, little pegs. Make sure the pegs are even. Then you just kind of slide it in. Then you're able to, I can make some shelves shorter or taller, depending on like the model. Like for my Goffert molds or my Huckleberry Bays or some of my taller molds. And I can have some small ones for like some of my classics before I sell them and everything. And like my ponies and stuff. Yeah, what's going on there? But yeah, you can even... <laughs> Cause there's all these little video, there's all these little holes right there, to where you can actually be able to change the height or the width in between each um, shelf. Which of course I won't do any of that until I actually get it in my room. And you just do the same thing. Well, actually, this part would be on the back, so you'd have to see the white part. It's just doing this just for demonstration. It's very dusty. So, yeah, that's not my new book. Shelf that I got a couple of days ago at a yard sale for three dollars, and it's got four, or five shelvings, and not including the top, which would just pretty much be six, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah. And I'm not going to be going to Briarfest 2013, 2014, or pretty much nearly ever, because I'm trying to save up for a horse. I've been wanting that a little bit more than Briars, so it's going to happen before Briars, and I cannot be able to afford going to Briarfest and getting a real horse at the same time. That's just, like, physically impossible for me. Um, I can... Be able to pay for a horse just fine once I get the money. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm just saying this now, I'm not really gonna ever be able to go to breakfast. So kind of sad, and also because if I ever go, I'd have to enter the open division, which is not the funnest for me. Because I've only been to one open show, and that was that one so I, I did okay. I did okay, I didn't do the best. Um, yeah. Yeah, my 
my room, my bed's a mess. It's just a mess. Um, so, yeah. My precious babies. There we go. And my new amazing horse, not really horse, amazing animal I got at Lonster Live for three dollars. He was originally twenty. I got him down to five, and then I got him down to three. So it's really cool. It's the Spanish Fighting Bull. He's really pretty. Um, cannot wait to show him at Weldon's if I do go to Weldon's. That's the main thing. If I do get to go to Weldon's. Because uh, it all just depends. I probably might not actually be able to go to Weldon's. It just depends on... Sorry. Um, it all just depends on what my... Depends on my goats. And it also depends on what my family vacation is. So, yeah. So I'm probably not going to be able to go to Weldon's, which would really suck because I've been there the past three years in a row. This year would be my fourth year in a row to go. So, yeah, it's kind of saddening for me. I really love Weldon's. It's a fun place to go. Very, very good um, temperament there and uh, atmosphere is just really friendly. Everybody's so friendly there, but you will get the occasional rude brat type showers there, but I never had to worry about those. She was in the other age division. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna start any anymore. Um, pretty much after that, the next show I'll go to is probably Model Horse Expo, because they haven't said anything about Tejas Live. I would probably be able to go to Tejas Live, if it just depends on where it is. <laughs> um... And when it is. Um. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm just. Recently I woke up maybe about an hour or two ago. Um. So. Yeah. I still have not unpacked my minis. I won't be able to. Until I freaking. Be able to put it in my bookshelf. Because I kind of need. My minis to go. On a separate shelf, like, they're supposed to go there, but, like, I ran out of room. Unless I put them there and I start packing my minis, which I'll probably actually do, like, right now. Because <laughs> I really, I really do need them kind of moved. I tried to sell quite a few of my minis. I actually got rid of a few, which I'm happy about. Like, I traded so many stand mates. I was able to get Peter Stone. Yay. And she's a very gorgeous girl. I love her to death. Yes. She doesn't really have detailed eyes. Or she's got slight brown eyes. But nothing too spectacular like Stone's normal drop dead gorgeous eyes. So. Which is sad, but it's still a good horse. And this guy. Normally the zip chocolate chip for Peter Stones has a little snip on its nose and he doesn't. So he's actually more like the actual horse than what Stone makes him because uh, Stone has a snip but on the actual zip chocolate chip doesn't really look like he has a snip or it looks more grayish and he does not have a snip at all. The little gray mark there, which is right underneath his nose band on his bozal. You can see he's got a little gray looking thing on his nose. He doesn't. Which is kind of funny. And he's actually a pretty decent number, which I like. He is number 891 out of 25,000, or 2,500, sorry. Yeah, 2,500. And gorgeous little stone shelf. So that's pretty much the main updates right now. So thanks. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.